Welcome to Super Agents Live. This is the one place where you can come and hear the most successful people in real estate. You'll hear how these super agents built their businesses, how they stay productive, and how they stay motivated. Who am I? My name's Toby Salgado, and I made my first million in real estate. And I'm your host for the next 30 minutes while we talk to yet another amazing real estate entrepreneur. Stay tuned. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, hey, welcome to Super Agents Live. I really appreciate you taking the time out. And look, if you are new to the show, you just found it, congratulations. You're going to love it. Uh, at least I hope you do. Hey, and on this show, what we do is we talk about or we talk about real estate. We talk about how to grow your business, how to get better, how to optimize, and how to win. Uh, we do that by uh, me talking with top producing agents, authors, and coaches. Now, listen. Today's episode is a little bit different, <clears throat> okay? We know, I mean, I always encourage people, right? There's lots and lots of free platforms out there for you to build your brand, to enhance your brand. <clears throat> and and a lot of times we don't know where to start. Now, if you think about it, there's, there's Facebook, there's Twitter, there's Google Plus, there's Google Hangouts, there's YouTube, there's Spreecast. But how many of those are you doing? And is Facebook enough? If you're only on Facebook, is that enough? It is not. Now, it's okay to be on Facebook and, you know, and just be sort of a civilian on there, but you want to be a warrior, right? You want to know how to work, uh, you know, uh, look, I'll ask you, do you know how to use graph search? You probably don't. Uh, do you know how to build a custom audience? Do you know how to create a lookalike audience? Do you know how to laser target the people in your community, in your market, in your farm that you want to talk to? <clears throat> I will tell you, you probably don't because most real estate agents don't know how to do that. And, and you know, most small business folks <clears throat> don't know how to do that. I mean, this is, this is really ninja stuff. So, and by the way, uh, so our next episode, I'm going to dig into that a little bit. And, uh, uh, and look, I don't know how you're listening. I have found out that a lot of people listen to this show <clears throat> from my website, which is okay. But the easiest way to do this is if you do have a smartphone, go to iTunes and subscribe. And if you do, and if you like what we're putting out here, <clears throat> I would really love if you could, uh, subscribe and leave a rating and review. <clears throat> Speaking of that real quick. And by the way, if you do leave a rating and review, hopefully five stars, uh, I'll give you a shout out. So I haven't done this in a while. Let's get to it real quick. Authentic 10, AKA says it's a great resource. Southern AZ Jesse, dude, I know that guy. He's all over Twitter. He says, awesome, must subscribe. Now it's so funny. Jesse, Southern AZ, AZ Jesse is, man, like he's on Twitter all the time talking about the show. <clears throat> and it is only, it's taken him four months to leave a review. And by the way, the reviews help the show. Hey, Mo sells Chicago. Best sales podcast ever. Jenig, Jenigo82, amazing. Jay Swink, 007, great content. Uh, Giselle Oliveira, really uh, informative and entertaining. Hey, thanks. <clears throat> you know, look, I, I think this show is, uh, it's, I call it edutainment. It's education while you're entertained. Arturo Nova, best real estate podcast out there. JD Manning, uh, he branded himself and his thing. Like, anyhow, uh, Slee Marty, thought provoking content, and uh, Jared R. Toby's legit. Okay, <clears throat> before we get into this content, and by the way, what we're going to talk about today, uh, I didn't say before, we're going to talk about how to use Google Hangouts and how you can use that in your company, uh, whether you have a team or not. How you know how you can use that to, to really engage with your team, engage with your prospects. Um, <clears throat> Uh, the hashtag for the show is unpack that idea. Uh, go ahead and tweet out using that hashtag and uh, you'll get new followers. I'll follow you and I encourage everybody in the audience. It's a big follow train. Just so you know, uh, the member site is coming up. It's coming, man. I just hired a developer and we're, we're we should have this thing out like hopefully in 10 days. And uh, and on that member site, we're going to have, you know, people ask me for a lot of the stuff that I have, you know, tracking sheets or, you know, or scripts or whatever. And um, uh, instead of me sending them out one by one, once you join and there's going to be a free membership, there's going to be a paid membership and the paid membership will allow you to get onto our big, you know, Facebook mastermind group. So uh, stay tuned for that. Hey, I could use your help. Uh, here's how I could use your help. It 
I need more guests. That's it. I need more guests. I need you to help me get more guests. Either, either if you're out there, and by the way, I just had a conversation the other day with a guy who runs a 300 person brokerage who told me that he listened to every episode. I was amazed. I was honored, but amazed. And I'm having him on my show. So if you're out there listening to the show, and by the way, I mean, I, there's another big trainer that I just reached out to, and he says, I listen to every episode. Why are you not reaching out to me to come on the show? I need more guests. If you are somebody who think would a good guest, send me an email. If you know somebody that you would like to hear, send me an email, Toby, T-O-B-Y at Super Agents Live. The last thing before we, get, before we get to this content, and I know I've taken five minutes of your life here, but we're doing a live event, June 19th, 2014. I'm gonna get 10 people together from the show, from the audience, and uh, we're gonna rent a suite uh, here in San Diego, and we're gonna spend all day masterminding. And on this mastermind, here's what we're gonna do for the day, right? We'll start at nine or 10, we'll end at five. You know, we'll have food. Everybody's gonna pitch in to, to you know, rent the, the room and, and buy food. Um, but, uh, you know, we're gonna go around, and talk about everybody's business, right? Everybody's gonna get a chance to get on the hot seat tell everybody about their business, t explain where they're struggling. And, uh, you know, I'll be moderating. So I'll, I'll, I'll give you my two cents and everybody in the group, you know, maybe they have been there before. And so <clears throat> I've done these before and they are extremely uh, expi inspiring. They're motivating and you walk out learning something new. Okay. So if you want to come and you want to you know, improve your business, uh, send me an email. I, again, I'm only going to have 10 or 12 people. It's only open to 10 or 12 people. Any, uh, any, any bigger than that, it becomes a different kind of a thing. So if you want to come, if you want to attend June 19th uh, here in San Diego, send me an email. We'll put you on the list and uh, that's it. All right. Let's get to the show. Google Hangouts with Brandy Sweezy. Today, we're going to have Brandy talk about Google Hangouts and how you can use Hangouts in your business. Brandy is the premier Google Hangouts expert and she speaks all over the country on this topic. She does Hangout production at her business, hangoutsforbusiness.com. Today, she's gonna to tell us what Hangouts are, how they work, and how you can use them. If you've never heard of Hangouts, that's okay. Brandy's gonna walk us through some of the Google Plus platform and all about Google Hangouts. Hey, Brandy, thanks for taking the time out today. Hey, thank you so much. I'm very excited to be here. Yeah, so I, you know, I gave a little brief overview of uh, of you and your background, but maybe t take a minute, tell us about yourself and your company. Uh, yeah, well, I have brandycc.com, and I also have Hangouts for Business, and I've been in marketing, public relations, and event planning for uh, about 20 years, and then I was also a public speaker. I spoke on leadership, management, behavioral styles. I was actually also a realtor at one point in time in my career, and uh, that's actually how I fell into marketing was I was really good at marketing for real estate, wow. and then that's, you know, I was like, well, actually, marketing is you know, my thing, too, and of course, it was like right when the market had kind of bottomed out, and so I focused more on marketing, and then I got into internet marketing about two years ago, and I fell into Google Hangouts uh, at the beginning of the year, and it was one of those fluke you know, experiences where I went and did a hangout and had great success. And I was at that point pretty much on the bleeding edge with everybody. But as a marketer at heart, I was like, wait, why isn't everyone on hangouts? And, and so I started figuring out why a lot of people weren't doing them and then just made it easier. So really my claim to fame is I simplify it because I'm not a techie person. I just saw the advantage of what hangouts could do for businesses. And so that's where hangouts for business was born. How funny. Well, you know, it's, I'll tell you this. So you know, everybody is trying to use social. Uh, nobody's really cracked the code, and and you know, everybody is as a as realtors or real estate agents. You know, for the most part, everybody has their Facebook page, and that's where they focus on. Um, and and again, most people out there in the audience are not using it uh, the way they should because they get a listing and they they just have listing after listing on their Facebook page. Um, now, you know, Google built uh, Google Plus to compete with Facebook as a social media platform. Uh, t maybe, you know, edge us in there a little bit. Let's talk about Google Plus because if people are not using Facebook properly, they, they may not be using Google Plus at all. So like, can we get into Google Plus and then move into Google Hangouts and how the, the tree of life of Google Plus, Google Hangouts, as well as YouTube are all interconnected? 
Oh, uh, yeah. You know, it's quite honestly, like, a, you know, I'm the hangout marketing expert, but I'm not so much the G Plus expert. Now, I do believe that everyone should be, you know, taking Google Plus seriously. It's um, not as social as Facebook is. Now, you know, like, my, again, my claim to fame are really the hangout side of it, and I still have not dive completely into Google Plus. So I don't want people to be overwhelmed that they have to learn yet another social platform because that was kind of my hesitancy and a lot of people in the marketplaces hesitancy is, oh gosh, now I got to learn yet another social media venue. Right. And, you know, it's, we're already overwhelmed with Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and how do we use them? You know, and I'm a firm believer in master one and then move on to the next. Right. But really what happened with me was, you know, do I think everybody should be on it? Absolutely. Without a doubt. It's just, you know, I still haven't fully dived into it. I post periodically, but you'll notice that I'm not that big on G Plus either because for me it's an overwhelming yet another platform. So what happened for me is, you know, obviously G Plus is linked with Google Hangouts. You need a G Plus account to start a Hangout. Right. What I ended up doing was realizing that, you know, Hangouts stream live to YouTube. Google owns YouTube. So you only with very simple efforts can start doing Google Hangouts just simply by having a G Plus you know, profile or business page, depending on your business. And then you can start doing hangouts and get the maximum benefit of that. And then, you know, yes, certainly a little bit further down the line, you know, dive into yet this other platform, but I don't want people to to not get into it because they think they have to learn yet another platform when they're already overwhelmed with so many of them that are out there. Right. Right. So, so absolutely. So let's, let's, um, I want to let's say I want to do we're, we're going to talk later about what and how people can use Google Hangouts, but let's just get somebody on the platform. So in order to to start a hangout, I need a Gmail account. So tell us what we need first in order to. Right. to okay. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, well, Gmail and G Plus, like if you don't even have a Gmail account, it'll walk you through. All of this is free. Yeah. Let's just start off by saying this to everyone. Everything that I'm talking about is free. Yeah. That would be the number one right. kind of this. It is free and it's Google. So the Google gods smile upon you when you use the Google product. Um, so all you need is a G Plus account. And when you set up your G Plus account, it'll walk you through pretty simply. I do suggest that you at least put a picture up there because nobody wants to see an anonymous, you know, blank, you know, put up a logo or put up a picture, like take just a little bit of time, you know, putting in, you know, your profile picture and, and some type of graphic so that you're not obsolete. So when you do actually, in fact, decide that you want to get further into G+, you already have that kind of base. Now, when you set that up, you also need, if you're going to do Hangouts on Air, which are the ones that stream live to YouTube, you'll need a YouTube channel. If you're starting from scratch, which is absolutely ideal because the biggest uh, pitfalls is people have multiple YouTube channels and multiple G Plus pages. If you're starting from scratch, you've got a cakewalk. Then you just go, when you're in your G Plus profile page, you click on YouTube. It'll say, oh, would you like to start a YouTube channel? Well, yes, yes, I would. Thank you very much. And it'll link the two of those together. It's very important if you are going to do Hangouts or when you start doing Hangouts on air, that you get your YouTube channel verified. And that is under YouTube settings. It's just channel settings, and it just asks for your phone number, and it sends you a text message, and you're verified. And the reason why this is so important is because you can only have uploads of up to 15 minutes. And most Hangouts will, you know, go a little bit over. So you don't want to be kicked out of a Hangout on air if you don't have your channel verified. So those would be the steps. I'd get my G Plus profile, get my YouTube channel, verify, done. Now you're ready to go. Now, of course, you do want to add, you know, some, you know, your picture on some of them, but they're already linked, so there's not a lot of graphic, um, graphics that you have to do. It's pretty simple and straightforward. And then, boom, you're set up to do a hangout on air, and that's it. Okay. So, so, and one of the reasons, and I want to back up for a second. So, you, you getting your G plus profile is basically I'm just going to go and get a Gmail ad address. And then, right, right, and then I'm prompted. Am I prompted to start to to uh, to fill out my Google Plus uh, profile? Yeah, it'll prompt okay. you to start filling out your your Google Plus profile. It'll it'll do it like through lots of steps. Obviously, they're trying to build the platform, so it'll say, "Oh, invite your friends," or you know, "Let us access your contacts." That's a personal decision. I skip all of those steps because I would prefer to add people that are more interested in what I'm offering than just to add my entire database over the last 20 years, right? right, right, right. You know, I, I just want to, I, so I skip most of those steps going through. And then by, by like the fourth step, it'll say, you know, add a photo. So you say, okay, I'll add a photo. Okay. And then up at the top, 
is a YouTube, um, a little button that says YouTube, and when you click on that, it'll prompt you how to set up your YouTube channel, which is, you know, minimal steps as well. So what, you said something really important earlier, and you said it really quickly, so I just want to back, uh, back up. <laughs> we so, talked about me talking fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. So, so, so Google... <laughs> Plus, Google Hangouts and YouTube all are owned by Google. So when you, as a realtor out there, or anybody, use Hangouts, you're automatically, all that content is going to be in your, it's going to be findable pretty easily. Correct. Right. Okay. So you're going to yeah. rank high in, in, in searches. Well, yeah, this is the, this is really the claim to fame about Hangouts, you know, that, that I discovered. Like I said, I fell into it, and I couldn't believe I ranked on the very first page of Google for Hangouts for Business behind Google with zero effort, meaning that I did not – um, put in any keywords into my website. I didn't do. I didn't do anything that I advise people to do nowadays. Um, but back then, I was number one on Google. I was like, "What is like? What is this?" And at first, I thought it was just uh, because it was Google's baby. You know, the, the Hangouts are, are definitely where they're putting a lot of their their money towards. You know, in developing it. And I thought that initially that's what it was. But what I figured out since then is because it's relevant content. You know, it's in the moment. I mean, I do think it has a little bit to do with it being Google's baby. Yeah. But really, if you were to look at it, 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 it's relevant content that's current. So, you know, blog posts, you know, don't get that long of a shelf life. You know, you do a YouTube video. YouTube videos always rank higher than um, your, your basic written content. But Hangouts, for whatever reason, you know, I, I do think it's because it's relevant and current content. And then also, it's a YouTube, technically, it's a YouTube video, but it's a Hangout. So you're getting that double power so you can rank really rapidly with, again, not spending any money. Got it. Okay. That's great. So, so, let's, so let's talk about the different types of Hangouts. So there's Hangouts on air uh, and what, what, what kinds of Hangouts are there? So all of it falls, so this is, Google calls it the unification of their video, voice, and chat is what they call it. So basically what they've done is they've taken like their little chats and they've also taken, remember when there was Google Talk, well there still is, Google Talk, um, where you can have a Google, you know, phone number and talk kind of like on Skype. And then also they added video calls. So those are all under the umbrella of Hangouts now. So there's the Hangout Messenger, which is just if you wanted to chat with each other. Then there's the Hangout Video Call, which is like a Skype call. So it's yourself. And you can have up to 10 people, so it's yourself and nine other people. So if you were doing private consulting, you wanted to talk to clients, you wanted to collaborate with your assistant on documents, you can, you know, screen share, you can use um, what's called Google Drive to work on documents together. Those could all be private. Those don't stream to YouTube. That's just you and I having a conversation over like a Skype. Uh, the connection's better. The video quality is better. You don't hear of half of the issues. And so you just can get in and collaborate with your clients. And those will be private. So, you know, as a realtor, you obviously you can't on air talk about, you know, numbers or, you know, legal things. You have to be cautious of that. But in a private call, it's private. So you could say, oh, my client in, you know, Michigan that wants to buy something in the Florida Keys, let's jump on a Hangout video call and we can chat face-to-face -face and have a better opportunity to really bond with your clients in that face-to-face -face type environment. Right. Then the next, yeah, I love it for collab. I do all of my coaching on, on Hangouts, you know, because it is. There's something to be said for being face-to-face -face with somebody. You know, we don't need to travel as much as we used to, and phone is great. We get to talk on the phone, but there's something to be said for being able to look somebody in the eye, especially when you're negotiating, you know, with real estate. You know, we're negotiating in high numbers. You know, the more face-to-face -face you can be with them, is, you know, if they're out of town or they're too busy or, you know, whatever's going on, you can do that. And then also with, you, you know, maybe you have, you know, real estate relationships in other states where you do referrals, you guys can have weekly mastermind and team meetings. Right. Yeah, all of those types of things I think are great. You know, if you're if you work at a at a firm that you know where you're recruiting at all, you could have, you know, people out of state, you know, have weekly meetings and then you're recruiting, you know, under under your name within the brokerage. I mean every state has a different way of doing things, but you get the idea. Yeah, yeah. So those are all great I was just say, you know, you know, it seems like a really cool thing to do. It seems like uh, it, it'd be really, really useful. Is um, if I'm having a team meeting on air or whatever kind of collaboration I'm having, if I'm able to record that, right? I'm almost creating this audio journal that I can that that we can you know go back and reference to or say, oh, you know, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's some accountability there yeah. that that, that uh, we again, you can just put in a file and, and reference it whenever you, you need to. 
Yeah, now when you do the private ones, like so if we're talking, you know, things that we may not want the entire public to see, you know, those hangout video calls, I call them private hangouts because that's just easier because hangout, hangout video, HBC, you have all these acronyms make me crazy. So in a private hangout, if you want that recorded, you need to record that. So you need to use something like um, if you're on a Mac, you use ScreenFlow, and if you're on a PC, you can use uh, Camtasia. There's some free things out there, Spreecast and Jing, that'll let you record those. But I record all of my private video calls, but I do them on my, my hard drive and I record right. them. And it's for that exact reason. So we can look back and say, yes, here in this conversation is when this happened. Oh, remember, this is what our accountability was for this week. So I, I do that in private hangouts. Because sometimes we don't want, you know, information out there publicly. Right, right. So, you know, so and, and I think there's one more one more type of hangout you're going to talk about. But so for us right now, so here's obviously. So what I do, right, this is a podcast. You know, I, I call you on Skype. I record it. Uh, later, I go and edit it and then and then throw it up on uh, on my Libsyn account. And then people find it on iTunes. That's and one of the things I'm going to do, Brandy, is so I'm going to I have uh, my full um, interview with you today. Right. So it's going to be 30, 40 minutes. Uh, uh, what I was going to do is take out uh, and this is for all my guests, take out um, five to 10 minutes of the really golden stuff out of each of my each of my uh, interviews um, and uh, and put those on YouTube. Right. So audio only and maybe just maybe, you know, a display a, a picture of me or a picture of them. But then but then have that on YouTube and then and then slowly filter down my content from full interview to you know pri- a, a small snippet and then and then blog post and all the way down to 140 characters on Twitter. So it's a long way to ask a question of, you know, could we be right now um, streaming this on uh, on YouTube? Our conversation. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. my God. I mean, that's what I suggest all my clients do. You know, so, uh, podcasters, you know, I have yet to see a podcaster take this and run with it, but this is what ideally I would love to see podcasters do, is do a hangout on air, which is the one that streams live to YouTube. Then you can just strip the audio off of that, you know, so that people that want are more visual, then they, <clears throat> they can watch it on your hangout on air. But then you can strip the audio, take the audio, edit it down, you know, stick it on your, your podcasting platforms, you know, iTunes and whatever else, you know, then you get it transcribed, go to Fiverr, you know, get right. somebody to transcribe it for you, take that transcription, you turn it into a blog post, right. you know, and you have all of this unlimited content. But yeah, absolutely. I've been trying to convince some podcasters to do this. So yes, that would be my suggestion. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You know, so I may, I may definitely try and do it. The, the only thing, the only negative for, for me, Brandy, or, or for anybody else out there is that, is that we want, you know, um, <clears throat> When so if I stream this and people saw the this interview with you, they wouldn't then go to my podcast and I wouldn't get credit for that, right? So my downloads wouldn't reflect, um, uh, you know, the actual numbers. So and I, maybe that's a short term, you know, short short sighted viewpoint of that. Well, no, you know, I think that this is the thing is that everybody we all listen and learn differently, right? You know, so that's really the point. The point is is that people, you know, that that listen to podcasts are always going to listen to podcasts, and they're never going to bother with going to YouTube and watching your stuff, right? You know, the people that are more visual are going. You, you, you're just giving them more opportunity to get your content because you. Know, you know, different people listen, learn and listen by different ways. You know, like I personally don't read blogs. I'll watch a video or I'll listen to a podcast because, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm moving around constantly. But there's other people that really love the written content. They need to see the written content. So we don't want to exclude them by transcribing. There's other people that just really want to, I want to plug in my earbuds. I want to listen to the show. I want to be on the treadmill. Or I listen to my car on the drive to work. Well, then they're probably not going to go to a hangout on air. There's other people that are just searching on YouTube looking for something that's relevant to that and keyword searchable. What you do, though, in the Hangout on Air is once that video has ended, you can go in and put what's called external annotations. And so you can put those external annotations and say, hey, be, you know, subscribe to my podcast over here. Are you, you know, like go sign up for my email over there. You can, you know, give them cues of different areas, you know, tweet this or Facebook it or whatever. And then also in your description, you know, say, you know, this is also available um, on iTunes, you know, be sure to go here and like right. it and leave reviews or comments or whatever. You know, so you're directing people to where you want them to go, but you're also making sure that you're getting more, you know, ears on your product, more eyes on your product, uh, you know, on your content, not your products, but on your content. And that's a great way to do it. And so you may reach a broader audience 
that you would not have been able to reach that, you know, maybe are not just perusing podcasts all day long. Right. Okay. So I love that. So, so, um, okay. Look, tell us about, so we, we have the messenger and I have some specific questions about how realtors can use this to, to display their listings or whatever, but, but let's go through this. So we have the messenger, we have the video call with up to 10 people. And then what else do we have? Is that it? Or we have, then we have the, the hangouts on air. What we, you know, we, we alluded to it in the beginning. So then there's the hangouts on air, which is the ones that are actually streaming live on YouTube while they're happening. So when they're, they're streaming live on YouTube while you're in, while, while they're happening, then once the broadcast ends, it technically becomes a YouTube video. So that, that's the hangout on air or it's called HOA. And the Hangout on Air has a very specific place where it starts. You know, when your G Plus profile is on the left-hand side, you click, you know, Hangout on Air. And on that Hangout, this is another beautiful thing. On that Hangout on Air page where you actually would start one are a listing of all of the Hangouts that are live at that moment. So if you go through there and peruse through there, you might see some that are on air that, that, that might be relevant to what you're talking about. This is where your audience reach gets a little bit broader. So... I, I was a Florida Keys realtor. So it might be, you know, Florida Keys realtor show talking about, you know, city ordinances, you know, down there, they're always changing something. And so it, you would name it something compelling. So maybe somebody falls on it there. But anyway, from that page is where you'd start your hangout on air. And then that opens up and it'll say preparing to broadcast. And then once you hit start broadcast, it is streaming live on YouTube at that moment. Then once the broadcast ends, it's technically a YouTube video. And then you just go in and put in a description, how they can get a hold of you, you know, maybe put the MLS in there, you know, whatever you need to put in there or for them to contact you or maybe you have some kind of weekly listing that you put together of, you know, here's the eight listings that are hot right now or here's some price changes this week, something like that. And then you just maximize that video a little bit. Right, right. Okay. So, so I, actually, I don't know if you know this, but I know you're in San Diego. I'm in San Diego as well. Did, did you know that? I don't know if I talked about that. I, no, I don't know. But yeah, I think we did actually. Yeah, because okay. Michael uh, introduced us. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so I'm a San Diego realtor, uh, let's say, um, and I want to have – that. that I'm going to name my YouTube channel San Diego Realtor. Okay, And, and then every week I could have, for example, I could talk about uh, the housing market, right, for uh, – I'm, I'm in Carlsbad, for example, right? So I'm going to talk about the Carlsbad market uh, in general. Um, uh, uh, how do I do that? So I'm going to, I want to stream that, but it's just me. So it's fundamentally, how do I do, it's a video, but I want to do it on Google Hangouts because I might get more, more play that way. Does that make any sense? Well, they, oh, oh yeah, absolutely. So this is one of the first things that I would do is I would name myself like number one realtor in car, ah. Carlsbad or something like that. Okay. You know, like I name some, you know what I mean? Like something to dominate the market. Um, that, you know, I would name everything around that. And so then I would, like, if I was going to do something weekly, I don't think you need to do any more than maybe 15 minutes. And, it's, you know, it, it all and everything that we do in life, it's all about, you know, provide value and content. So I'd have, like, a weekly show. You know, maybe it's 15 minutes, maybe it's 20, you know, depending on what kind of content. And you just have your, you know, number one realtor in Carlsbad talks. you know, zoning. Number one realtor in Carlsbad talks, but And then you... you you talk about that, you know, like whatever's hot going on right now in your market, and but you're the number one realtor in Carlsbad, and then you each week say something, and then towards the end of your, like, 15 minutes, you know, like the last five minutes, say, oh, hey, and by the way, you know, this is going on, like this listing, or, you know, this just sold, some, some type of, you know, social proof, or, you know, Give them something at the end, but you want to lead in with the content so that you start to become the trusted authority. Right. And so this is twofold in that process is, A, you're becoming the trusted authority. You're getting your name out there for free, but you're going to end up ranking for number one realtor and call that, you know, like doing a little bit of keyword, keyword research. You know, so, you know, some, maybe you specialize only in, you know, waterfronts or maybe you specialize only in, you know, like whatever your, your, your specialty is. I mean, I know we all have, you know, everybody has multiple listings, you know, for different things, but maybe you want to niche down on a couple of different markets. So then what you'll want to do is you'll go back into that YouTube video and keyword tag, you know, number one realtor in calls tag, and then let's say three other, you know, niche keywords that you want to be known for, you know, 
maybe it's over a million dollars or maybe, well, I mean, everything out there is over a million, but you know, I feel like something, you know, something along those, you know, like something that's a little bit more keyword specific. So then number one realtor in Carlsbad and those keywords start to be associated. And then you're putting content out every single week, even if it's only 15 minutes, you're going to keep on ranking for that. Then what I would also do is I would put, um, there's lower, they're called lower thirds. I make sure that I turn that on so that it says your name and your website address so that anybody that lands on that knows where to go find you. You know, so like right. make sure that you maximize your use of time so that they can find you. So anybody that happens upon that, so let's say somebody just looking, you know, real estate in Carlsbad, then you're going to come up consistently because the, the hangouts and the YouTube videos are going to rank higher than anything else that anybody can do for you SEO wise. And so you're just going to start, you know, you're, you're going to have the most content related to that keyword. Got it. And then people are like, oh, all right, let me check him out. And then they go to your website. And by the way, for if you're on the East Coast or you're in Iowa or Kansas or something, Carlsbad is an upscale city in San Diego on uh, it's northern San Diego on the coast. So I, I didn't want that to throw anybody. We keep saying Carlsbad. <laughs> you know, I don't want to think that's a, some kind of hangout term. So so that's awesome. right. Okay, so so now we can get our our we can start to build our personal brand and, and do it very in a, a niched if we start to link keywords to our show and we're gonna rank um, we're gonna rank really really well now f- for the civilian out there I mean you obviously Brandy are are the uh, a pro um, I mean can can a civilian do this I mean do I need any uh, uh, you know special um, you know, website creation background or, you know, how easy is this? Yeah. Well, I like the queen of the non-tech. Like I always joke, like it's amazing to me that I got in, you know, that I'm the hangout person. Um, no, you basically, you know, it's a free account. All you need is, a, you know, a webcam. And I, for the longest time, just use my little iPhone headset. You know, just make sure your lighting's good. And then you just go for it. You know, you just push start play. You, you, you can get more advanced if you want to. But, I, you know, I'm also... In all of marketing, it's about consistency. Like, just start doing it weekly. And don't look for external validation in the beginning. You know, like, just keep on plugging at it. It takes a little bit of time to start to build up an audience. As we know, it takes, you know, to build that client relationship. You know, sometimes the sales cycle in real estate could be a year or two. You know, you might have met somebody, and then you just kept in their, you know, in their front of mind for a while, and they weren't ready to buy yet. And then suddenly, boom, they decide to buy. The same thing with all of marketing. You know, you start doing something consistently, you want to start to get top of mind awareness. And when the, that person comes time where they want to buy or list their house, you have been in their face for a while in a good way, just by providing value for, for an extended period of time. So all you need is a little webcam. You can use your little laptop webcam or your desktop webcam and your little iPhone headset. And you turn it on, you push start broadcast, you talk for a few minutes, you push end broadcast, and that could be the end of it at that point. You know, I'm talking about, you know, tiny little bit more is, you know, you go into your YouTube, into your video manager, and you just do an ad description. And, you know, YouTube's pretty user-friendly. You just say, I want to go into my video manager, and I want to add a description. And then you just type in, you know, hey, thanks so much for watching, you know, you know, number one city in Iowa realtor or whatever, you know, like whatever you want to type in there, put in your little bit of information, and then you're pretty much done. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's enough to get you started. And then the more comfortable you get, and this is the beauty of it, the more comfortable you get, the more you'll be like, oh, well, what's that button? I mean, that's basically how I wrote the thing. Was I was really a poke and hope girl. Yeah. And, you know, it's like poke and hope. I, I, that's why I joke around. I still am to this day a poke and hope girl. Oh, you know, I poke and hope, and if I, if I get it three times, that's my new best practice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if it works three times, that's my new best practice. And that's my big, you know, and I, I mean, most of my hangouts, you know, that's been, you know, the experts will say one thing and they talk above your head and, you know, I'm like, oh, you're making my head hurt. And then I, so I just poke and hope a little bit and I'm like, whoo, look, that's my new best practice. And it's so much easier than what the experts said. And so that's, just, you know, just get in there and do it. Yeah. Yeah. So what about this? Okay. So, so let's, let's talk about a real life example. So I, 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 I have my YouTube channel, the number one. Carl's bad agent, uh, on, you know, on the sea, whatever. Um, I have a listing, realtor. A realtor. So I'm going to go out. I, I have a listing. I'm going to take a bunch of pictures, right? So I know that you can share. Uh, uh, I can share my screen in uh, Hangouts. So you know. Um, so I mean, I have a listing. I take a bunch of pictures. I upload them onto my hard drive or whatever. I plug in my camera. I start my Google Hangouts and I start to talk about one, two, three Main Street. And I go, oh, hey, listen. 
here's a picture of the kitchen. It's he, these are the dimensions. Uh, I mean, is that possible? And talk us through that because that sounds like a really powerful f tool if it's free. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like I, you know, that would be another thing that I would do is, you know, I would put in addresses, you know, like maybe you take one day and say you have 10 listings and you just, you know, do like little 10 minutes, you know, hangouts uh, for every single listing. Plus your, your, um, your clients are going to be thrilled by that because they're going to see themselves on YouTube, oh, you know, yeah. with the, you know, the, you know, the address and it just adds more value and, and you're cutting edge at that point. So yes, you just walk them through the steps, which is basically all you have to do is have those pictures open on your desktop. You hit the screen share button. You choose the picture or pictures that you want to, you know, you put them in a little slideshow, like, you know, a little quick time slideshow if you wanted to. And then you just go through that. And now you're just voicing over the photographs. And so they can say, oh, look, here's, you know, this 40-foot, you know, dock, and it has this wonderful pool. And, you know, look at the granite countertops in this kitchen. And, da -da 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 -da, you know, and you just walk them through like a virtual tour. Oh my God. And, it, again, it's brilliant because you don't have to, like, those virtual tours, God, when I, when I was in the real estate industry, those things get really expensive, yeah. right? Yeah. And so, you know, you could just do a, a good YouTube video on that. And then the beauty of that is when it sells, then you just put up a big, huge sold thing over it, but leave it on your channel so that it has more social proof that you're out there doing this cutting edge, which again, it, it's free. It's a Google product and it's not as hard as it looks. It, and then you just, you know, put sold all over your channel too. And then people are like, wow, look at this person. They're on the hustle. You know, they do a YouTube video about my property and they talk about it and you tell them about it. And yeah. And then they can share that. And it's not the, the clunky MLS listings. Sorry, no offense. But you know what I mean? Like the analysis are not always uh, user friendly. So yeah. they can just find it on YouTube and walk right through it. And they get to know you. And that's right. really the power of Hangouts. If they get to know you. And that's the idea. And you know, the other thing, so the, the, I think that another thing they could add on there. So, you know, you, you run them through the, the photos of the property. And then at the end, you're like, hey, listen, so, you know, it's, it's listed for 1.2 million, whatever. Uh, and here's what somebody, so, and then add testimonials, right? So then you, you can show another video that you have on your hard drive of, of three or four people saying how great you are. Oh yeah. Absolutely. That'd be so I cool. wouldn't do video though. I know, but don't do video. I will say this. Don't do video. Don't uh, do video. You can okay. put, 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 yeah. Um, you can put up, you know, slides or, you know, a picture or something. Yeah. With okay. your testimonials for sure. Put those in there. Um, video and video doesn't always work really well. That's the only uh, reason that I hesitate saying to do that. Um, Google's very, um, you know, they're very paranoid about copyright infringement. So even if it's your video, you know, it, it doesn't always go really smoothly. Like even with my, my top level professional clients, I am like, no video. Nope. Sorry. I know you want to, but nope. Sorry. No video. Got it. So I would just do what I would meant by the quick time was that you could take a quick time and make a little slide presentation. So you would just um, like take your, so take your photographs of, um, it depends on if you use Keynote or PowerPoint, but just like make a slide presentation. Um, and then it happens that in Keynote, you can turn it into a quick time, which the slide will just move smoother is, is what I meant by that. I probably shouldn't have said that. That's a little bit more advanced, but you can just do a basic slide presentation, build it out in your PowerPoint, you know, build it out in Keynote and then just do a basic slide presentation. And then at the end of that, you know, have three or four testimonials about how awesome it is to work with you, you know, all of that good stuff. Got it. So, so how are? I mean, I know, I know you are, uh, you are a producer now. I mean, for for Google Hangouts, um, uh, with third party uh, producer. Um, how are some of your clients utilizing Hangouts, and how's that? And what kind of results have they gotten? Um, you know, it's it's crazy. Like, you know, it depends on you know, Hangouts are only limited by our imagination. You know, so I have, you know, I've had clients, you know, make twelve, twelve thousand dollars selling information products. I've had um, another person that, you know, is a loan officer go from zero to two thousand person list and, and kind of rise in pretty quick fame using Hangouts. Wow. You know, I've worked, yeah, I've, I worked with social media examiners. We did a couple of events, you know, where we had thousands of viewers and they were announcing something and they were, you know, selling a virtual event. Um, you know, like each person is, is so completely like the book launch. I did a song launch. Uh, it was for an independent artist who wanted to do a big song launch, and we did a four hour hangout. Um, this oh, coming God. Monday, some friends of mine and I were doing a hangout marathon, and it's like eight different products. So we're, we joke that it's like a QVC meets internet marketing. Wow. So, you know, you know, yeah, you just try to get really creative. But I think for the average user, you know, most people start to see these bigger productions. 
And it's like, no, 15 minutes, you know, just get out there, you know, grip it and rip it, you know, just start doing it weekly, do it at the exact same time every week so that you're, you know, a top of mind awareness for people and just do, those are the most powerful ones. Those are the ones that are going to build you the, the greatest audience, the quickest authority and rank you the fastest is how quickly you can get out there and then do it consistently. So help me understand this real quick. I mean, cause I, I'm loving this idea, and as soon as we get off this interview, I'm gonna I'm gonna dig in and uh, and and try to I, I'm gonna do one. Um, uh, and I can totally lost my train of thought. Unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable. And I, I, well, you know, here's my question. My question was: so how are Google Hangouts different? From so Google Hangouts are going to stream into YouTube, so they fundamentally become a YouTube video. What is the real difference in terms of ranking? Where you know I'm going to either upload my video, I, I create a video on my my flip cam, uh, and and upload it into YouTube. Now I have a video on YouTube. Uh, the other path is I, I do a Google Hangouts and it streams to YouTube, and now I have a Google Hangouts video on YouTube. How does how is that, how are those different, and how do you understand what I'm trying to get at? Yeah, I mean, you know, YouTube videos are still going to rank higher than blog posts, right? Okay. You know, because again, that's you know, that's Google's baby. But the 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 relevance is the big piece with Hangouts on Air, and it's the engagement as well. So it's the relevance. So Google ranks based on what's current and relevant. So I do this thing. God, I know sometimes I'm like drinking water through a fire hose, but I, I I've tested this three or four times in my poke and hope series where I went in before I pushed start broadcast. So I'm kind of in the, you know, what's the quote unquote green room of my little hangout on air. And then what I did was I went in and I keyword tagged it and put in my description. And before I ever pushed start broadcast, I was ranked number one. Whoa. And I I mean, I hadn't even gone on air yet. You know what I mean? And Google was already ranking me number one. Got it. So, because I've been trying to test and figure out, you know, like this is the, the you know, the, the million, billion dollar question is, you know, how to, to outsmart Google. It's not really about outsmarting us. It's about learning how to play with them, right. right? And so, you know, they love their products, you know, play play by their rules, do what they like you to do, you know, have relevant current content out there constantly you're going to rank higher but i've tested this six different times and ranked number one before i push start broadcast wow powerful man brandon yeah. this is I, I i certainly hope somebody or or you know a lot of people in the audience uh uh take this content and uh and start doing it on their own i think it's extremely powerful um and maybe you know uh, we're gonna sign off here but maybe give us a parting piece of guidance if you can but get people off on the right foot and uh, let us know where we can find you and, and we'll sign off yeah here's the you know the biggest thing is always just remember that you know everything's a representation of your brand but also don't be so hard on yourself you know hangouts are, are, are much more you know they're casual at this stage they're, they're raising in production value but you do not need a bunch of big huge flashy stuff really the best thing about hangouts is it really closes the empathy gap with you and the people that you are trying to serve. Right. The more human you are, the more they're going to relate to you. You know, as we know, people buy from who they know, like, and trust. Hangouts affords that opportunity for people to get to know you on a human level. And my worst hangouts, I mean the ones that I thought were going to ruin my career, resulted in my biggest clients because it humanized me. You know, instead of being this flashy big production, oh, you're the hangout girl. I mean, I had my backdrop fall on my head, my slides didn't work. I mean, I had, I had some big disasters on hangouts. But every single one of those resulted in my biggest and highest paying clients. And so, you know, just be easy with yourself. You know, get on there, get comfortable. Even if you just do a five-minute coffee talk each week and you just say, you know, hi, this is, you know, George and Isla just talking about, you know, the city council meeting from the other night. This is what's going on. All right, thanks, bye. You know, you don't have to do, like, really, don't overthink it. Just start doing it because you will be smacked. This is the easiest thing that you can do and learn how to do. It's not learning another social platform. It's not, you know, don't get overwhelmed. Start doing it because you'll be kicking yourself in the butt in six months if you don't. So just start doing it now, and in six months you'll be the grandmaster of Hangouts in real estate. And so do that. Awesome. And, um, yeah. And you can find me at hangoutsforbusiness.com if you want. There's a little training over there. It's a, a basic training. And then also at brandysuzy.com if you'd like to be on my email list. Cool. Yeah. And by the way, for everybody out there, uh, I, I went through the <laughs> training earlier today. It was really good and it's free. Um, so I highly recommend that you go out to hangoutsforbusiness.com and, and watch that and go over that free training. 
Uh, and if you've missed anything here, I know Brandy and I covered a, a lot of stuff really rapidly, but you can go to superagentslive.com slash Brandy Sweezy. And Brandy is B-R-A-N-D-E-E, -E, not Y or I. So, hey, Brandy, <laughs> thanks so much for coming on the show. I really appreciate you taking the time out. And, uh, and I, I, I love what you're doing, and I wish you uh, tons of success. Hey, back at you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. All right. See you, Brian. All right. Bye. Let's go. Yeah. For those of you that want to know what we're all about, it's like this, y'all. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% custom.